Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Lisa and Natalie asked me to do a tutorial on how to spray seal with watercolors. So this rock here, which when it's finished, it's not yet, when it's finished it will be my challenge rock for the latest challenge, the um, think outside no box required challenge. Anyhow, I need to put a layer over the watercolor to seal it so that I can add some details. So this will show you the first step in sealing with watercolor. When you seal with watercolor, you want to use something like this. You want to use like an acrylic sealer. You want to use an art sealer. This or there's also Kamar varnish. And if you see right here, it says watercolor. You want to seal with one of these and not this. This is a heavy spray and it will goop up your whole project and it will make it slide. All right, so I am going to use the Kamar varnish, the Krylon Kamar varnish, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I had to open up the varnish. So I'm going to use the Kamar varnish. And when you're doing this, you want to get some distance and you want to do a super light, airy coat. You do not want it to get heavy. You don't want it to run. Now, if you see, it's just shiny everywhere. Just shiny. And that's where you want this to be. This will take, depending on the weather, about 10 minutes to dry. And the big difference between this and, I'm going to move this over. That is not done being sealed. And something like this. This is a rock my friend found. And it, she kept it in her car because it was completely unsealed. So I'm going to seal it real quick because I think I'm going to release it. And the difference between that and this is this is my triple thick crystal clear glaze. It is one of the few that work with our weather here in Washington. But no matter how high up I go with the clear glaze, it's a very thick um, spray when it comes out. All right. So the big difference between spraying with the triple thick crystal clear glaze, which is this one, and the Kamar varnish, which I did on the watercolor, is that that is super thin and light, and heck, it's almost dry already, and this is a very thick, heavy spray paint. Once this dries, when it's ready, you can spray it again with the var with the Kamar varnish or with your acrylic gloss sealer um, to make sure it's good and sealed. And then, after that's dry, you can do something like a triple thick clear glaze or a crystal clear um, spray paint. Any of those will be a good option once it is dry. All right. I hope this helps and answers all your questions. Have a great day.